Some civil society organizations in Bayasa State have raised concerns over the surge in illegal immigration. The organizations began the sensitization campaigns with a roadwalk. Joseph Kunde has the details. Figures from the Nigerian Immigration Service Data Analysis System shows that about 2 million persons emigrated from Nigeria in 2022, while also 1.5 million left the country in 2023. With these disturbing statistics, the Jaguar Youth Project hopes to change the narrative as it embarks on a roadwalk in Yanagua to sensitize young people against irregular migration that could negatively impact their future. We just did a roadwalk, telling Bayonsans, telling Nigerians that there's a, there's a normal route, there's a legal route you can take to leave this country. And not just that, there are so many issues of Jaguar in within Nigeria. Our youths are rushing into cultism, drug abuse, you know, pipeline vandalism and all of that. So we, we did this work to create our awareness to say those things are not good, it will not help our youth. They should join us in this campaign and see how we can make Nigeria a better place. By the time we all jack, who will be left? Our grandmothers and fathers, are they the leaders of tomorrow? So I think um, we should stop this um, Jakpa thing. For me, Nigeria has so much potentials for us to build our self-capacity and otherwise. When you go to this place, you're, you're just a second-class citizen. Most of them are highly marginalized. Made up of civil society groups, relevant agencies and non-profit organizations, the project promotes youth development instead of irregular migration. Many of these young youths have been deceived, uh, thinking that there is a better job over there and not knowing what they will meet over there. And when they go, they'll be exploited, they'll be, they'll, they'll, be, they'll be used as slaves. We are not saying don't travel, but you must have a proper information of where you're going to and what you're going to do. If you have something in your hands, you won't be thinking of an alternative. So most times it's idleness that causes this. So the government should please help and empower the youth, not just employment alone. The pilot project seeks to empower youth through skill acquisition and engages policymakers, among other key players, in a one-day program to encourage self-reliance among youth in the Bielsa state. Joseph Kunde, TVC News, Yanagua.